Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bad Guys at Repent Story Channel. In the previous episode, what were we doing? But anyways, I do want to quickly go over a few things. On stream, I managed to get a few unlocks. We got Tainted Jacob to Mother. It was a horrible stream. <laughs> it was four hours long. Um, and yeah, anyways, we got uh, Tainted Jacob to Mother. And also, as I said previously, some of you may be disappointed by this, but... I'm not a big fan of greedier mode, and I don't really want to do too many greedier mode videos because I don't think they're super interesting. So, even with my mod, I did a few of the greedier mode unlocks off camera as well. I did, um, I did, who did I do? I did, let's have a look. Uh, I did Azazel, um, Lilith, Apollyon, and Bethany. I'm still going to try and do, um, this one here, the, um... Forgotten and Eve on camera. I don't want to do all of them off camera because I do want to like try and track our progress But you know what I mean like I we are gonna do some unlocks on stream We are gonna do a few off camera, but yeah, you know what I mean I'm gonna make sure that like the final ones are all on camera and stuff But anyways, let's get in and do our character randomization and see who we get. Let's see who we get randomize Bethany to the beast Okay, so we just I think we just did Bethany to mother pretty recently. So I'm going to randomize that again and see who else we get. Azazel to delirium. Um, we did Azazel to delirium with soy milk a few episodes ago, but I'm still going to try it again anyways. I think, I think that'd be a good one to go for. So let's try that out and try and get Azazel to delirium. I don't think this should be too difficult. We actually had a pretty good time of it last time. Literally the only reason I failed is because I picked up soy milk, but... I'm sorry, there ain't no world in which I'm not going to take soy milk as, um, as tainted as Azel. It's just, it's too alluring of a, uh, of a task, of a, of an item. I really got to take it. But anyways, we're jumping in. Like, of course, I'm, I do apologize for you, for those of you that are going to, uh, be seeing that, you know what, I'm, I'm, we're going for delirium. I need an item that I can actually use on the first floor. Um... A few of you may be disappointed that we're going to be playing similar characters and maybe missing out on a few of the other ones for these last few unlocks. But just think that in a not so long amount of time, we are going to, um, we're going to have all of the unlocks and we're going to be able to play whatever character we want. And we're going to be able to do some random streaks or some Eden streaks. It's going to be really fun. So even if there's some characters that you really, really want to see that we may, may not be playing too much of, just know... Uh, that we are getting close to the 100%. I'm on 688 of the achievements now. Um, so there is only 637. We are 19 achievements away from greatness. 19 achievements. Now, do remember, we do still have to pick up and see every single item in the game. And there is still plenty plenty of items that I have not seen yet so it's not like it's gonna be um a free a free win uh sort of free dead god as soon as we get all of our achievements we've still probably got quite a bit to go but I have a plan I'm gonna play as a uh, tainted Eden last because for one tainted Eden's kind of difficult and I, I I find him quite tough but for two um items that you uh, re-roll into as tainted Eden count as seen so what we can do is we can play as him to try and see all the items we haven't seen yet you see? Oh, for God's sake. That was a really stupid hit there. Trying to keep the debuff going. There you go. We got him. Oh, no. <laughs> really stupid hit. Followed by really stupid hit. But we did indeed get a damage up. I think, um, I don't actually know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure that Tainted Azazel has, um, some sort of damage multiplier. Because... Jesus Juice is normally less than one full damage up, and that was 1.39, I think. Oh, ha, ha, yes. We got Bob's Rotten Head. For those of you that don't know, Bob's Rotten Head got a huge buff in uh, Repentance, and it's probably, I wouldn't say one of my favorite items, but definitely one of my favorite buffed items. It used to be basically only valuable as a reusable bomb, and it was a three-room charge, but now it's two-room charge, so even better for that reason, and it does a lot, lot, lot more damage and least poison. Oh, we got side fly. Okay, this is um this is a very very good run. Uh we we might have something on our hands here. I have to say. But yes, for those for reasons such as that and yeah, just every reason uh Bob's rotten head is really good here. Let's see if we can maybe get something from the shop. 
like it. I don't like using the, um, the sort of sneeze to do damage, but it is an effective way to get enemies off your back. I will admit that. I will very much admit that. But yes, as you can see here, we're doing great. We'll go straight in here and do that. <laughs> it's just so good. It's just so good. Like, it's unparalleled how amazing, how just insanely great this item is. It's just, it's just so, didn't we just do this room? Oh, for God's sake. I need to not take as much uh, contact damage here. Just because I really don't want to take uh, enough damage to die when we've got Psyfly, considering, yeah, it's contact damage. Anyways, let's go back here. I want to quickly um, just bomb this real quick, and I want to go to our shop. Right, so secret room. Do we have any inkling on secret room? It could very well be here. Um, have a little check of that, actually. It could also very well be here. No, it couldn't. Okay. So, I'm reckoning it's probably... Uh, let's destroy some of these fires, actually. I'm reckoning it's probably going to be here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, just a single key. It's not the greatest, but it's definitely a help nonetheless. But yeah, I'm really hoping we can get a little bit of HP going here and make sure we can stay alive. So, hopefully this uh, provides... It did not, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of one of those worrying moments where we have... A fantastic setup with Psyfly and Bob's Rotten Head. But contact damage is still a major issue for us. Um, and we could end up losing it all to some really, really dumb hits of damage. So we've got to be kind of wary. And I think we've got to take these advantages. I think we've got to we've got to try and um go for uh, go for everything we can get. Also, we want to be moving relatively quickly here because we are trying to go for Delirium. And I do think as long as we can get the HP, like the prerequisite HP we need um, to stay alive until Delirium, we should have a pretty good chance. Sci-Fly is a very defensively heavy item, if not the most defensively heavy item. And in fact, it's very, very possible that when you're watching this, Sci-Fly has already been nerfed. It is said that Sci-Fly is going to get nerfed, so... Um, it's very possible that, that may have already happened when the, when you're watching this. But at the minute, currently, it's not... Oh, this is really good, this. It's really good for multiple reasons, but one of the reasons is that it can spawn multiple types of dips. And some of them are really, really strong. Okay, I'm going to put that there, mainly for the poison cloud more than anything. As you can see, red dip there, coming in killing a bunch of stuff for us. Again, we're going to go straight in here. Buy a soul heart. Very, very necessary. Um, and blood rights. Ugh. Unfortunate. But I really, I really cannot find any single way in which complaining about this run makes any sense. Uh, this, this run's too good to complain about. But yeah, these dips here. Two per room. Well, I, I, it says two. Let, let me just check. It does say two per room on the trinket. But I believe it's only one. I don't know why that is, but the external item description seems to be a little bit wrong on that. Unless uh, it only spawns two under certain conditions, maybe. But as you can see, it is it is only one. But yeah, the cool thing is it can spawn um, it can spawn multiple varieties. Uh, I think this floor we're, ju we're just going to go. We want to be relatively quick to make hush. We don't have to be very fast, but. <laughs> uh, I love it. And we actually got a bit of uh, health there as well. Seven seals. It ain't the best. Um, I do want to fight an angel just because I want the... Um, I know we could take damage to this guy. But I think we want to fight him because it gives us bonus angel chance when we pick up the key piece. I'm pretty sure. There you go. We, we've pretty much got him now. There you go. Yeah, there you go. We get a little bit, not much, but a little bit of bonus angel chance for doing that. And honestly, I know it's, I know it's a it's a really early point to call it, but I think this is the run. Oh my god! Look at that. Just Bob's rotten head. It's so good. If anyone disses Bob's Rotten Head, I'll diss you. Okay, this is a room that I am very glad I have Sci-Fly for, because 
I don't know how you're meant to dodge that when you enter that um, that location of the room. It's very, very tight corridors here. But yeah, essentially, we don't need to even slightly worry about um, about getting damaged by tears anymore. Like, it is literally a non-issue. I'm gonna kill you. Kill you. And you as well. I kind of do want to bomb all those mushrooms, I have to say. Try and take out the, the double-headed guys first, because they can do poison spits, and we don't want that. Arcade, unfortunately, not a great arcade for us here. But we shall push on ever forward. I just love the fact that not only is it amazing damage, but it leaves this little poison cloud. Only briefly, but it leaves this little poison cloud that's going to do us a bunch of additional damage on top of the damage it's already done. It's so good. Um, I think we do blow this up. Just because, yeah, there we go. That was very, very worthwhile. Very, very worthwhile indeed. We need to be looking for secret rooms more often with Bob Throat on Head, really. But it's not a big deal if we don't find it. Okay. Chocolate Milk, if I remember correctly, is really, really good as this guy. Um, I don't... Okay, maybe not. It just seems to have really increased our charge time. Oh, no. No, the damage is affected. Uh, normal Brimstone, it makes the Brimstone huge. Uh, it doesn't seem to visually affect uh, the Brimstone Beam at all, but it does seem to be affecting our damage. The only problem now is our charge time is pretty horrible. Also, Golden Penny here. Very, very nice um, for, for later flaws. But yes, uh, it does seem to be pretty negatively affecting our charge speed, which is a bit of a problem, but not not so much that I'm going to be really worried about it. Okay, that's good because it's going to leave the poison cloud. Oh no, that was a bad hit of damage there. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Honestly, HP up at this point, I'm pretty happy with. Our HP is our literal only point of contention right now. Maybe maybe our fire rate has become a bit more of a point of contention, a bit more of an issue. But generally, our HP is really the only thing holding us back here. Uh, temperance, I'm not going to go for. I don't think that would be a great idea. But yeah, as you can see, we, we charge up very slowly, but we do uh, a lot more damage than we were pr doing prior. Uh, check on this. It's a three-room. Rerolls all the pickups on the entire floor. Okay. Come on, my dippy friends. My dippy dippies. Thank you. We need more keys. I thought we had loads of keys last floor. What happened to them all? There you go. Insta-kill on that guy. I don't actually know if it's increased our damage. I, I feel like it has. But I also feel like it might not have done. Like, let me just quickly go and check. Um, Isaac Chocolate Milk. See if it's got anything on the page about it. Uh, Tainted Azazel. If charged and... Re uh, okay, let's have a look. If the charge is released quickly before the charge meter is about 33% full... Tainted Azazel will sneeze. If released after that, he'll shoot a laser instead. Okay. So we don't actually have to fully charge. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't even know if it increases damage. But at the very least, it hasn't negatively affected our fire rate. I definitely want that. I definitely want that. And I definitely want that. Yeah, at the, at the very least, it doesn't seem to have negatively affected our fire rate. What on earth? Why won't these guys die? Oh, they're ours. I was like, oh my god, there's so many of them. They're getting so close. And I realized they're all our friendlies. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's rather nice. I, I did not expect Dingleberry to work that way. But I'm very glad it does. So yeah, I don't actually think that full charging is helping us. But at the very least, we're not gaining any downside, really. Where the hell's our item room? Unfortunately, we haven't to backtrack quite far. But I will say, our health is less of a concern now. It was originally my primary concern, but it has since uh, fallen by the wayside a little bit. Um, bombs are nice here. 
Uh, I'll even check for a secret room right here, just in case. Indeed, indeed. Okay, we just got a bunch of flies. Okay, we also just got Sacred Orb. I'd say that's pretty awesome. Sacred Orb, for those of you that don't know, a uh, good amount of money there as well, means that all items have to be quality 2 or higher. Uh, there's literally no 0 or 1 quality items left that we can see anymore. And items of quality 2 have a 33% chance of being re-rolled anyways, so... This is really strong. I think we're just very, very strong now. Um, we're going to have a very good time. Sadly, we don't have too many items left. Ooh, holy dip. Uh, we don't have too many items left. Oh, if we're in his aura, we actually get some benefit. That's kind of cool. Um, so, Bloody Lust, unfortunately, not the best thing for us here, but not bad either. But yes, shop next floor shop is going to be very important because we're going to find some higher tier items. Next floor item room is going to be important. Um... And any items we get after that, which makes me a little sad that we left the Bloodied Crown, which which could have given us additional item rooms. But I'm really liking Dingleberry right now. It's very, very helpful. Um, we don't have any requirements for things we have to bring. Also, our next Angel slash Devil deal will be very good too. Which is really, really nice. Hopefully we get the Angel deal, but if we, sh if we should get a Devil deal, it's not going to be a bad thing. Because we're, we're going to get a good item from it nonetheless. And I will definitely check it, considering our HP is better now. Yeah, this little angel dip is so nice, especially considering how it spawns. Like, it's uh, when when we start each room, it's literally, like, directly on top of us. So, we essentially get a higher damage homing uh, brimstone at the very start of every room. It's very, very nice. I very much like this setup we've got going on right now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty strong now as well, generally. Good, good. Uh, I will bomb this so we can open that. Shop, Pandora's box. I think on this floor, um, it gives us... Downpour 2, it gives us 20 coins. If we take it to the next floor, it gives us two boss items. It's tempting, but I, I really don't think it's what we need right now. I will, however, grab that. I know that I should have just grabbed the box to give us 20 coins. I realize that. But it's not a big deal. I'll see if I still want the 20 coins if there's a, a, a thingy machine. No, there isn't. I don't really care then. It's it's 20 coins that's not really going to make too much of a difference. We are going to the womb, though, so maybe I should buy it. Just to, like, pop it out here. Yeah, I don't know if we can summon any, like, other types of coins. But I'm going to say, I might as well pick it up because we are going to go to the womb. There is another shop available to us. The womb is probably going to be very, very uh, high payout for us with the items that it gives us. I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm trying to think of items that are really good. Like, generally, herming would be really nice. Um, faster fire rate at the minute would be good. Yeah, I can't believe Dingleberry makes all dips friendly. Was that a tinted rock I missed as well? No. What? Yes, it was. Oh, we don't have a bomb. But I say I was so sure then. I was so sure. Time-wise, we're doing absolutely fine. We're, we're, we're actually, like, speeding along at the minute. Luckily, I literally don't have to worry about these at all. Uh, extra bomb there, thank you. Good, good. Um, I'm going to bomb this and... Oh, we already have a full card. I'm stupid. Um, I was going to say I was going to bomb that so that we could uh, full card out of boss rush, but we literally are already holding a full card. But it doesn't matter. Okay, this could be good. Unfortunately not. We got a, we got a two quality item, which is kind of rare, but it's what we got. Really? It's just going to keep giving me battery charges, is it? Okay, finally it gave me a key. <laughs> it just kept giving me battery charges. Oh, you didn't die. Okay. You didn't die, sir. Yeah, boss rush could be pretty high yield here as well because there's going to be a lot of high quality items in there. Right, good, good. We are ready to go on mother... Nice hit. You see that damage there? 
Okay, we have lost our holy dip, unfortunately. Okay, I did get hit there, apparently. It's good. We shall take... It doesn't really matter which one we take, so I guess we just take the negative here. Um, we can still get into boss rush. Let's check this. Uh, Horror Babylon, I will take. My fucking troll room here. I know that we don't really want to be um, Devil Deal, but honestly, Horror Babylon, really good. Um, we're going to take this and get out of here. I could just finish it. I could just do boss rush, but I'm a little worried about my HP currently. I'd rather not. Was there any HP in our shop? I didn't even check today. Um. Anyways, let's get moving on. And kind of just hope for the best here. I'm a little worried. But the, we have good items. We have a good setup. But H, we, we need quite a lot more HP to do Hush. And honestly... Most of the attacks are going to be fine because we've got, um, what's he called? Uh, Psyfly. But that still doesn't mean it's going to be easy. What the fuck is this room? That room's scary as all hell. Duplicate our keys here is fantastic. It means we don't have any key worries for, um, for Hush now. But yeah, the Muramycosis is not exactly the best pickup we could have got, but it's still very valuable. Because, as you can see, it's doing good. Uh, I definitely think we just pop the sun card so we can get into our boss room as quickly as possible here. And we go and bomb that. Sadly, no item. I was really hoping for an item there. But extra money could be good. We need to be going down this way. Nice one. We're absolutely plowing through the rooms here. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just very, very worried about our current HP. It's not good at all. And I say not good at all. It's just not good at all for what we're trying to do. Generally, it's fine. But we don't have the wafer or anything to stop us taking extra damage, so... I, I can't believe it makes all dips friendly. This is such a good trinket. I can't believe that missed. Okay, there you go. Hit you. Got you. Eye drops. That is at least fire rate. Sadly, no devil deal here. That that could have been good. Oh, God. I'm very apprehensive of this run now. I'm very apprehensive of this run. This is like delirium worthy, but not delirium health at all. Okay, can you stop pushing him towards me ever closer? I mean, I suppose I could just do that, yeah. My fire rate has at least been somewhat alleviated now, which is good. Okay, these guys that fire upwards can be pretty problematic. Because Sci-Fly can't really destroy their shots. Thank you. Tro Troll Bomb, no thank you. But I am liking this run so far, it's fun. Oh my god. Yeah, how was I meant to not take damage against that? God damn it, our health is so low. This is so annoying because this run's so good. It's just one of those runs where it's like, you just don't get HP drops. You don't get soul hearts anywhere. Every tinted rock we blow up gives us a golden chest. Every single item we get is, is like not health. It's just, it's sad. Oh god, we're taking damage again here. We're taking damage again here. Oh no, 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 we won't be good, we won't be good. Oh my god, that was close. And it's like, yeah, you keep giving me red hearts, but they're not doing anything for me right now. We good? Nope, we're not. Now we're good. We are doing great damage. Oh, lumps, really? At this hour? As long as they don't telefrag me. Okay, good, they didn't. Oh, for God's sake, as if that missed. Mother, why? Thank you, Sci-Fly. 
No devil deal again. Okay, that's a bit depressing. A 75% chance. But we need our HP anyway, so it might be okay. Anyways, down to Hush feeling a little apprehensive. But we should get some good stuff here. I don't even know if tough, tough Love even works. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Ah, <sighs> This is tough. I think we take Book of Revelations... Just because it means we can get to full HP if we survive the Hush fight. I think we gotta take it. It also means if we get a battery charge in here. We didn't, but... Tough, tough choice. And no items from this either, but we did get another Soul Heart. Okay, so HP has at least been repaired to a point of me feeling a little happier about it. Anyways, I don't really think our damage is conducive to do this quickly. But, you got to remember, we have Sci-Fly, which essentially means we don't have to dodge any of his attacks until later on. The Muramycosis is going to be doing quite a lot of our damage. There you go, we got him. And if we can get uh, a Sneeze in there every now and again, we can deal extra damage, so that's good. As long as we stay a good distance away from him in order to give Sci-Fly the, uh, the adequate chance. Okay, now that is brilliant. Extra HP in the fight. I always forget that Battery Baby can do that. Normally it pays out with the li little Diddy batteries, but it can pay out with full batteries sometimes. So this is just going to be kind of boring. <laughs> Honestly, uh, we should be fine, but it's just going to be kind of dull. And I, I, I have very much think that the Delirium is going to be the same way. But the good thing about the Delirium fight is as long as we can visit all the other boss fights prior, or at least as many as possible, we should be able to get quite a lot of very, very good items before the fight. Like, we should be able to get a good amount of very good items. Because we do have Sacred Orb. Sacred Orb hasn't really paid out too well. We've not had any um, quality 4 items yet. But I will say, Muramycosis um, and uh, Horror Babylon and, of course, Book of Revelations are pretty good pickups for us. So he's about halfway dead. As you can see, this is just, like, the easiest thing of our life. There is two, two of his attacks that I know that Sci-Fly has a really, really hard time helping us with. But other than that, we should be fine. Sci-Fly, luckily, is very good at deflecting this attack as well. Okay, so we get in there and do that. Do a little bit more damage to him for a little while. Okay, the flies are very annoying, I'll admit that. Okay, get another one of them going. And when there's a bit too much of these shots coming in, Sci-Fly has a, a problem deflecting them as well. So that's another... Maybe issue. This is the attack I was talking about. This is the only one that can really hit us, and it did. Because we're basically moving around too fast for Sci-Fi to get any of the shots, and then the beam itself could hit us. It's kind of difficult, really. But this is going okay. Yeah, it got us again. I'm kind of fine when it hits us, because I know that we're going to get a lot of HP back from Book of Revelations here. And there you go. You have been taken care of, sir. Uh, we are going to the Void. I think we're ready. I do, like I said, I do think that going to all the other boss fights first is going to be pretty important. Because, basically, I, I want to have as much damage as possible going into the fight so that we don't come across a situation like Hush there, where we're taking so long to fight the boss that contact damage and rogue explosions keep hitting us. Be nice if we didn't get hit. Although, getting hit is going to stack our damage with blood, uh, bloody lust, so that is not a terrible thing. It's while it's not good to lose HP, if we're getting it back, it's not a bad thing. Okay, we want to be opening every chest plausible as well. Getting every little advantage. We can find secret rooms on this floor as well, so it's worth maybe trying to find those. Although, I will admit, on the void floor, finding secret rooms is quite the bit of a mystery to me. Okay. There's another charge. So we probably want to map out the full floor before we fight any bosses here. Gives us the maximum amount of charges. Charges are going well. And I think if we're at full health and we get a charge, we take damage on purpose. So that Because that will give us... Um, 
That will give us the, what's it called, uh, bloody lust damage. And we, we do need it. Because this is a room that could hit us easily. It's a lot of contact damage based enemies. Sci-Fly can't help us against those. Okay. We found a few bosses so far. Good, good. We're, we're almost at maximum HP already. Uh, any one of these could be Delirium at this point. It's very hard to tell. There's some... Sometimes it's super, super obvious which one's Delirium. Other times it's very up in the air. So we, we'll see. Hopefully we get a few bosses that are obviously not Delirium. What we really would like is a teleport card. Because then we can just walk into every boss fight. And whether it's Delirium or not, we can just teleport out. I think that would be the best way of doing this. So we need to be trying to get as many opportunities to gain cards as we can. And that means opening golden chests, I think. An Eternal Heart doesn't really do much for us apart from giving us an extra hit. Thank you. I love the little red poops. They're so fucking angry. Just get in there. So, un unfortunately, so far, every single one of these could be delirium in my books. Okay. Didn't really see that coming. Kind of hard to focus when there's that much shit on the screen. So, we did lose two full hearts to that. But, we gained damage for it, so... We should get most of it back. As long as we don't take too much more damage. And, remember that our battery baby will eventually give us a battery charge as well. Even if it is a small one. Every little helps, really, at the minute. Good, good. We are kind of wrecking all the rooms at the minute as well, which is good. Okay. Another charge. There you go. Do you know what? This is a room where I'm fully, fully ready to just turn you into a thingy. Okay, so this room cannot be Delirium at all. It just can't. It's just good old Mr. Fred. And jumper cables, while not the best, it gives us the chance to get more charges during the fight. Because he can, there is multiple versions of him that can spawn ads. So that is not the best thing in the world, but it's certainly not the worst either. And it does mean that we're going to get to maximum HP a bit quicker here too, which is also very, very good. Really wish we could get a teleport card here. Just getting lots of pills at the minute. This can't be Delirium either. It is Mum's heart though. It's actually Mum's heart, not It Lives as well. Which is a slightly easier version, I think. Blue Baby's only friend, again, not very good. We're getting a lot of two quality items at the minute, which means that Sacred Orb really isn't doing a very good job of what it should be doing, which is kind of a shame, honestly. Kind of a shame. Good, good. come on, dude. Don't be like this. You're killing all my dips. Stop. He, he, he won't open because the dips keep killing themselves on him. God damn it. I could have just pushed him into a wall. I don't know what I was doing there. I realized too late. Okay, so we've seen most of the bosses now. Sadly, really no great benefit. Sacred Orb has not really done us very good yet. That's not to say that it can't, but at the minute, it's not doing so hot. School bag? I doubt it's going to be important, but we'll take it. Do that, just so we can get an extra bit of damage, as you can see, up to 14 now. Okay, um, I don't think this can be Delirium either, but I still want to go and uh, do the search first. I want to have a charge available as well, really. Come on, where's all my golden chests? I want golden chests so I can get cards, please. Okay. 
Good, good. Okay. Is that another charge there? No, it was just battery, baby. I thought I saw a battery fall. Ow. But this probably means that the ones up there can't be delirium, or at least one of them up there can't be. And I think it means that this one can't be either. Let's go try this one first. We've just got to kind of hope and pray that it's not delirium at this point, because I really want as many items as we can possibly get. It's not good. That's pretty good. <laughs> now, that isn't exactly what I was sort of fishing for. And I don't know how much health it'll respawn us on. I'm pretty sure it'll only respawn us on three black hearts. Because that's technically full health for Azazel. Um, but, gotta say, that's pretty fucking good. Okay, we've got to go through this room again. I hate this room with a passion. I'm just very bad at following these spike blocks correctly. But we're back through it now. Right, so now I think that... I think that the, the one that's delirium is either the one all the way to the right or the one all the way to the left. They're my bets. All the way to the right or all the way to the left. So let's go this way. And this one down I don't think can be delirium. It indeed cannot. Okay, good. Mr. Mega's not that good, but bomb damage is um, bomb damage is good against bosses now because it breaks through boss armor, so it's not a terrible thing. There you go. Another one bites the dust. Sadly, that's terrible. So many, like, rank 2 items. So I'm pretty sure that this to the left is delirium here, but I'm just going to go for it at this point. I think we're as ready as we can be. It's not. Okay, we got lucky. Okay, don't get hit by the, the fucking light beams. Because they there's nothing sci-fi can do about that. Good, good. We got him. Sadly, a little bit too late. A um, little bit too late. Hmm. We might as well take that because it puts us on a full charge. Now we've got double charge. We're kind of good to go here. Right. Let's go and fight Delirium. I, I, I can't believe we managed to, like, correctly predict which one was Delirium. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's very exciting. But I'm fairly sure, because we've got, we've got um, a one-up and two hearts in reserve from Book of Revelations that we should be fine here. I'm just very, very glad that I did take Book of Revelations. It was definitely the right player. I mean, it was obvious when you go into the void when you have this many charges available to you that the right player would be to take re rechargeable health, but... Okay, so Mum's Foot straight away. This is one that can hit us very, very easily. We just gotta remember that Sci-Fly is great, but Sci-Fly does not protect us from a lot of this guy's attacks. There's a lot of this dude's attacks that Sci-Fly can't do anything for us on. Good thing is, we're seeing uh, ads here, so if we need to do a recharge here, we can. Okay, that wasn't very good. But, as you can see, we've taken no damage so far, and we're about a quarter of the way through the fight. That's very good going. There's an explosive there that Sci-Fly can't do too much about. Also, Delirium does fire a bit more shots than Delirium can keep up with most of the time, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Okay, that was kind of obvious. I don't know why I, why I sort of fell for that. <laughs> There's another charge. About halfway done now. Managed to actually get the uh, the debuff on him there. Pretty impressive. Okay, this is annoying. I, I do hate the double monster. We did get a mini charge there as well. That's good. He actually spawns a lot more adds than I thought he did. We're getting like lumps everywhere. How am I meant to dodge this? Okay, that's how. Grab the mini battery. Ow. 
I'm kind of just planting bombs wherever and see if he ends up hitting them. He, he does end up hitting them quite often, to be honest. Because, like I said, it breaks through boss armor. And when when, it, when you've got Mr. Mega and it's doing that much damage, it's like a good idea. He keeps heading into the heart for some reason, which is a bit odd. You actually managed to get that off, did you? Oh, he pushed it back at me. No, that was evil. He pushed it back at me. <laughs> Honestly, fair play to you, mate. Fair play to you. Oh, the foot. I got telefragged. We're about to get heart back there any minute now. Double telefragged. Triple telefragged. Okay, well, that wasn't telefragged. That was me walking through an explosion, but, like, what the fuck was I meant to do? This guy could, like, chill out for half a second. Oh, my God. He turned into the delirium form right as that bomb hit. And this guy has no boss armor anyway, so he got wrecked. But there you go. We have done Delirium as Tainted Azazel here. His completion marks are 100% complete. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Bit more of a spicy run than we previously had. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.